Hello. Ta papa? Papa, ta mi talisha. Come body to sound. Welcome to my channel if you're new. You know the drill. But anyway, this hairstyle, this hair clip hairstyle. I don't know what you call this. Like hair clip hairstyle. It's super easy. Like it's more easier than you can imagine, but there is a trick to make it more manageable if you have natural hair and big afro just like me. Like you know it's a little bit let's say impossible to clip your hair if you have too much hair i know but it's not impossible you just have to know the tricks to get there so today i'm going to show you how you do this hairstyle so you can look chic and you know bougie and everything on the basic okay on the basic so yes for this hairstyle your hair need to be dirty to get a better grip and style it how you want your hair needs to be dirty my hair is like i think one week and a half dirty so it's super dirty right now um i'm going to wash my hair today but i really wanted to do this video first so i can show y'all because it's super highly requested and then more later in the day or maybe tomorrow i'm going to wash my hair but anyway ciao so for this hairstyle you need two essential things you need a hair band and a hair clip so the hair clip is really so essential so i'm going to do i'm going to give some tricks and tips to get the perfect hair clip for this hairstyle so my hair is medium length and this hair clip is literally medium size perfectly for this hairstyle if you have short hair then you should use a smaller hair clip if your hair is long than a bigger hair clip like do you see the logic so medium length medium hair clip long big hair clip short shorter or smaller hair clip simple as that next step of the hair clip make sure to get a good quality hair clip because there's so many hair clips out there. They're so cute and everything, but when you open that shit up or whatever, they can handle your hair. And then boom, there goes your money. Bing, bang, boom, there goes your money, okay? So make sure that the hair clip material is not too thick or not too cheap, let's say. And third one, make sure that your hair clip opens wide completely white like this because if it doesn't open white then how are you able to fit all those hairs in this hair clip like make sure that you can open it easily white completely white that's third fourth make sure that the teeth of the hair clip they are thick because if they are thin they won't hold on to your hair so they need to be thick like this one let me open it a little bit a little close up so you can see how it is so yes that's the tip for the hair clip to get the perfect hairstyle that you want okay so yeah make sure to get a good quality hair clip and that fits the length of your hair that's all and for the rest for this hair um style of course you need gel you need some leave-in i'm using for gel i'm using the eco eco stock eco styler one i can't even talk i'm using this one of eco styler normally i use this one the extreme one but it's empty so i need to get a new one this one these two gels literally gives me the slick ponytail or the slick hairstyle that i always want everyone asks me every time like how do you achieve your hair to be so slick every time like these gels usually you just need gel and of course you need to get rid of every every single knot out of your hair because then how are you able to do that but i'm going to show you okay and for leave-in <laughs> today i'm using this novex one can you see i'm using this one by novex 
and I also combine it with the Miao Coil Sculpting Custard, this one, and of course, our um, spray bottle, for sure. In this spray bottle, I have water, the leave-in, and a little bit of oil, so hair oil. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to part my hair in two because first of all, I want to get rid of all the frizz and all the knots and all the curls, like everything. So the hairstyle can look a little bit more clean as let's say recently washed hair. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just with a little bit of spray, I'm going to just give it a little bit of nutrition <laughs> because it's super dirty y'all it's super dirty now i'm just going to go in with my white tooth comb comb and start getting rid of every single knot I usually part my hair in two because it's easier for me to manage the hair, of course. If you can't or if you feel like you need to part your hair in more sections, then do it. But for me, two sections is more than enough. Yes, now I feel that it's okay. I'm just going to go in with my diamond brush. And this gives my... This gets rid more of the um, knots and also define the curls the way I like. At the end, also I'm going to go again and just recurl the curls at the end when I clip them down and everything. So I'm going to do the other section. You can really see how dry my hair is, like baby. Uh, I'm sorry, baby. Mom is not taking good care of you. I know, baby. We're going to wash you soon, okay? I know you need a bath. And I'm going to take care of you, baby. Don't worry. Mama got you. Sometimes you have to talk with the hair because they are not in the mood every time, okay? So you need to talk with care to them so they can behave how you like. My hair is getting so long and I'm so happy because every time that I get on this length, something happens with my hair, but I've been taking good care of my babies. So right now, we're going to grow longer and healthier. Now we are going to start. So. I'm going to open this side, this section also. My hair is looking like this. And I'm going to get in with the gel. So for this hairstyle, make sure that you have a middle section part. At this moment, I have it already because I had this hairstyle like five days ago. So make sure to part your hair in two. It doesn't have to go all the way to the back because why would you do that it just has to go like right in the middle of your head is more than enough so chill that a little bit down around your hair and because my hair is so dirty it has like products built up in it already and i also build more products in it i like to go in with my spray again spray around it so it can be more manageable when brushing it down to make it more sleek down so and then i grab my brush and brush it down like so 
make sure that your brush bristles are hard bristles because if it's the soft bristles then what are you doing with your life like this needs to be slicked down not to be th these hairs are not baby hairs so <laughs> you need some hard bristle brush to do this thing and slick it down so if you see i'm just going to do this if you see i have like some bubbles around my hair so to get to get it more sleekier i grab my demo brush and comb it out a little bit more to get it slick slicker Whew, this is a whole hand workout And as you can see, it's already looking a little bit slicked down. And yeah, I'm just going to keep grabbing my bristle brush, my demo brush, and keep brushing all of the bubbles out of my hair. So it can get sleekier and sleekier time by time. So one important thing, make sure with your diamond brush, you're going again in the back because most of the time you will get a whole like mountain right here on your head. Like, child, I try to explain. I don't know how to explain that, but that's not nice, you know. <laughs> so make sure also to go again with the diamond brush in the back to get it slicked down completely. Wow, ciao. And when you're done with all of that shenanigans, you're going to grab your hair tie and you're going to tie your hair down right in the middle of your head. So not low, not too high up, just in the middle of your head. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Grab your hair tie and tie your hair right in the middle of your head, like so. And here we go. So it's not too low and it's not too high. Like, can you see? Can you really see with all this hair? Can you see? Can you see? Anyway, child, I try my best. If you want, you can also try to pull up your hair like this and see if you want to achieve a higher puff when you put the clip in. And for me, this is perfect. It's perfect. So now that the hair is tied down, I'm just going to pull on the hair a little bit to make it a little bit more you know and then I'm going again with a little bit of gel and slick down the hair so I'm going to etch my hair down if you are wanting tutorial on how I etch my hair down let me know but you can really see in this video I don't do much I'm just going to grab a little bit of hair and then add a swoop, this swoop in the front, just like that. It's not that big of a thing. Like so, like so. Sometimes I like to go back in to make it look more like twins on both sides because sometimes I it's not always that I get it super neat and also I like to work a little bit of just a tiny bit of swoop right in the front it's not a big of a thing
To the most important part. So my hair isn't all the way coiled up right now. So I'm going in with the Meow Sculpting Cost shirt. Just add a little bit so it gives my curl a little bit more of you know the finishing and also the moisture. Just a little bit. And again with the diamond brush, we're going to curl that baby up. Curl that baby up. Anyway, for me, that's more than enough. And then the most important part, the most important part, you're just going to grab your clip and you're going to, I'm going to turn it in the back so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to grab your clip and you're going to pull your hair up just like so. And with your clip, you're going to clip it down, but not all the way up, you're going to clip right a little bit more down where your hair is tight down just like so and make sure that you get every single hair all to the all the way tucked in so like that you can always go back and turn and see if you like it or if you want to adjust it again so for me it feels okay, but I'm not looking how it looks, but this is how it looks in the back. I'm going to turn and see if I like it or if I have to just rearrange it again. Um, for me it's looking a little bit all over, a little bit over the place. So I'm going to try again. Pull your hair up, hold it down, and with your hair clip, you're going to Clip your hair just a little bit down of where your hair is tied down and make sure that your the rest of the hair is tucked in around the rest of the clip. So like so. I think for me it's okay right now. Let me see. Yeah, for me it's okay. Don't mind the hair that's falling over because that's the effect that you want to your for your hair to fall over and over that you can see a little bit of bougie hair right on the top. And right now, also, the hair isn't all the way curled up. Just let me fade it again a little bit better. And then you can always go back. I'm just going to just add a little bit of gel right here. Yeah. And now I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit more of the custard so to define and curl my hair a little bit more as I want you can do this hairstyle just for on the go or when your hair is for example dirty or you don't feel like styling your hair but making the cute or something like that you can always go with this yourself always 360 y'all this is the hairstyle in the front from the side and from the back like 360 completely We are rocking the hairstyle. We are looking cute. We are looking neat. We are looking bougie. We are looking chic. We are looking everything in just one simple hairstyle. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this hairstyle. It was highly requested. I really hope that I explained everything as it needs to be explained. And when you try this out, tag me or let me know how it looks or let me know how it went. And yes. 
And right now, let's make some TikToks and take some pictures. Make sure that you're subscribed so you can keep up with Coco's shenanigans. Okay? Love you, mis amores. No está visa. Tengo trumbia. Mwah.